Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing a skill video, tracheostomy care. I'm in the appropriate school attire, badges visible, no polish, no glue, nails, no jewelry. Um, preferably in a real world setting, we would have two people doing this, one during the procedure and one stabilizing the tracheostomy. I would obviously perform my initial uh, introductions to my patient. I'm going to come over here in hand hygiene. Then I'm going to set my patient up in semi or high college position. I want to section the tracheostomy if need be. And then I'm going to set up my sterile field. Remove my gloves. Remove my sterile field. When um, opening up my sterile field, I want to ensure that I only touch the outside portion or that one inch border. The um, shiny part is the outside portion that will go on the table here. Dump my contents onto the sterile field here. Then I want to fill up the um, basin here with uh, the back one would have hydrogen peroxide saline mix. The two front would be the saline. All right. I'm then going to hand hygiene and apply my clean gloves. I would remove any oxygen source that the patient has. And then I'm going to remove the inner cannula. I would unlock. When removing the inner cannula, I want to ensure that the curvature remains the same. I'm going to drop in my hydrogen peroxide saline mix. Um, I want to discard that um, gloss around my tracheostomy there. And then I'm going to remove my gloss. Discard those, hand hygiene, and then I'm going to put on my sterile gloves. Same concept applies. I want to touch the outside portion or the one inch border only. Okay. Um, non dominant hand here, back away from the sterile field. Them out. Okay, I can remove this by grabbing the inside here, disposing that. All right, next I want to clean my um, inner cannula. I'm going to come over here with my sterile hand, grab the brush, pick this up. I'm going to move it a little bit closer, pick the inner cannula up with my so to speak, dirty hand, and then I'm going to clean the inside of the cannula and clean all around, dispose of the brush, and then I'm going to remove this and place it in the saline only area. I'm then going to get my cotton applicators here, place them in the saline on the other side. Okay, I want to then um, place my inner cannula back in again, ensuring that it goes into the same curvature and lock in place. Okay, get my cotton applicators here, clean around, discard, clean around, discard, clean, discard, clean, discard, clean, discard. I'm going to get cotton gauze here, or gauze here, excuse me, dry my patient, Okay, after I ensure it's dry, I'm going to dispose of that. I then want to get my, oh, there we go, the um, gauze that goes around the tracheostomy and apply that. Make sure that that is secured properly. Next, I'm going to um, remove the patient's tie that is already placed on the patient and apply with the new one I have. I am going to, for this one, I'm going to use the one-tie method. So I'm going to untie here what is already on the patient. When pulling the ties out, I want to ensure that I hold that tracheostomy secure. Dispose that. Remove this other one. Okay, I'm going to come here. Apply this through the hole. around. Secure through this hole. Okay. And then secure back in place. <clears throat> All 
All right, one tying the um, ties on my patient here. I want to make sure that there's enough room on my patient's neck, and I also want to make sure that the knot is secured tightly. Okay. Lastly, I want to get the remaining gauze, fold it in a square, place it underneath the knot that I created. I want to protect the patient's skin. Then I'm going to get my tape here and place it over the knot to secure it in place. All right, I then want to blow uh, lotion. I want to lower my patient's bed in the lowest position, gather all my supplies, dispose of them. Remove my gloves, dispose, hand hygiene, and make sure my patient has the necessary things that they need.